So this bookshelf is an absolute mess. It's just in our hallway. So as we come in the front door, we just pile stuff on it. And the weight of various things over the years is just buckling it. There's no back, so it needs fixing. Let's go make something. I'm just going to square all, all the ends up on one end, especially for the shelves, and then I'll do a measurement and then cut to final length. This is a very, very simple build. That's the shelves. One end squared up. So what I'm now going to do is set up a stop block using my table here. Basically, I'll move that out. Make sure that's flipped up. This is the internal measurement of the shelves, 660. I'm just going to line the blade up. This is going to cut. Move our stop block in and then lock it into place. So that's all the shelves cut. I'm now going to cut the sides and the the bits I'm going to put on the back. So I'm wanting 1700, which is 1.7 meters. So that's quite a long shelf, a uh, tall bookshelf. The biggest I can actually go out to and stop on my saw here is 1200 so I'm going to have to mark them individually so it means they're not going to be as accurate all the time I'll just have to take it slowly and make sure I double check everything right there Backing the sides. So all I've really got to cut now is just the foot. We'll do that later. All I'm doing is lining up with one side, lining up the other, and then we'll do the middle. I suppose I should actually do a little bit of measuring. These are 230 long, half of 230, 115. Well, it was when I went to school, so. So that's one shelf. Now I've got to do that five more times. Now, is pocket hole joinery woodworking? Well, that's the big debate. However, what pocket hole joinery does makes it fast, simple and easy to do. I'm just wanting this bookshelf to be fast, simple and easy. So I've chosen to do um, pocket hole joinery purely for that reason. It's just a bookshelf. I've actually just thought I have to put Still put another three pocket holes in the back on each one yet because that's going to attach the backing board to it. So basically I'm just using the paper here just to block off some of the, um, the holes just to make it stronger over here. Okay, I'm now just going to put this spacer block on. This is just for the footing. Um, I could probably go a little bit smaller on the footing, but to be honest, I just measured it roughly off the other shelf. And then, put it the right way. 
Huh. The joys of having a small ritual. Ooh, big clamp, not big enough. Try that again. So, I'm just now going to clamp that. Nice and flush. One of the reasons I'm not actually gluing is I want to be able to pull this apart someday maybe. And if we ever move, I can just pull it apart. So now I can take this off. Make some more space somehow. Ready for the next part. This is the biggest thing I've actually made for this shop since I've actually had it set up. So I'm going to put my spacer back on. Nice and flush. Clamp across there. And there is a slight cup, very, very slight cup in, the, in that, so um, I don't think I'm going to be able to straighten that action out. So I now want to spin it upside down. Do I? What do I want to do? What am I doing here? So I'm just doing the same process. It's now a spacer at 400. I only need one because I will just move the spacer over when I do the other side. Just as long till I get this side square. So I've got the one screw in. Just making sure that's all flush underneath it. I'm just going to clamp it underneath like that. Now one of, the, one of the questions I get is the screws I use. Um, if I'm using a hardwood in pocket holes, which I very rarely do, I'd use a finer um, thread on the screw. But since this is just pine, I'm using like a, a, a pretty coarse, coarse thread. Now I have to somehow get over the other side. Yay for a small workshop. Yeah. <laughs>
idea of these. You need to throw a lot of stuff in there, push them away, and the shelf looks tidy. That's the plan, whether it actually works or not. That's Paula's, it's a little bit more Paula's sewing stuff. That's the plan, whether it actually happens or not, I don't know. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And remember to click the notification bell icon, that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. You can find us on most social media, including Google+, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter and Instagram. Please also consider supporting me on Patreon. See you next time! Don't forget to go and make something.